Number 19, a 2,000 100 kg truck traveling north at 41 km per hour turns east and accelerates to 51 km per hour. Letter A, what is the change in the truck's kinetic energy? What are the magnitude and direction of the change in its momentum? So the first thing that we're going to do is to draw our coordinate system here so it's easier to find the answer. So this is our x direction which points east and this is our y direction which points north. So initially the truck's moving to the north and then it starts moving to the east. So we can write the velocity, the initial velocity and the final velocity in unit vector notation. Let's call it V, the initial velocity, which is equal to 41 in the J direction, kilometers per hour. And the final velocity is equal to 51 in the I direction, kilometers per hour. But we have to convert this to meters per second, so we just have to divide it by 3.6. And this gives us roughly 11.4 in the j direction meters per second and the final velocity is equal to roughly 14.2 in the i direction meters per second okay now we have the velocities in unit vector notation and now it's easier to find the answers Okay, letter A, we want the change in the kinetic energy. So we want delta K, which is equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy, which is equal to mass times the final velocity square over two. And this is the magnitude of the velocity minus M, the magnitude of the initial velocity squared over two. And in this case, the mass is 2100 the magnitude of the initial velo the final velocity is 14.2 don't forget to square it and divide it by 2 and on the other side is 2100 times this value over here 11.4 squared over 2 and this gives us roughly let's see how much it gives us just making roughly 7.5 times 10 to the 4 joules okay don't forget to include the unit for letter b we want the magnitude and direction of the change in its momentum okay the change in its momentum is equal to mass times delta v and we want the magnitude of the change in its momentum so we want mass times the magnitude of delta v so we have to find delta v find the magnitude of delta v and then compute the change in the momentum okay so delta v is equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity which is equal to 14.2 in the i direction minus 11.4 in the j direction in meters per second so the magnitude of delta v is equal to the square root of each component squared this, that's the absolute value of any vector 14.2 squared plus minus 11.4 squared and this gives us let's see it gives us let, let us make the calculation here really quickly the square root of this number squared plus this number squared and this gives us roughly 18.2 meters per second okay now we can calculate the magnitude of the change in the momentum which is equal to 2100 times 18.2 and this gives us uh, roughly 3.8 times 10 to the fourth kilom uh, kilograms meters per second okay so that's the answer of 
letter B. For letter C, we want the direction. So we want the direction of this vector delta V over here. And we find that using what we learned in chapter three or four, chapter three, that the angle is the tangent to the minus one of the y component of the vector over the x component of the vector. So in our case here, since the change in the momentum is proportional to the change in the velocity, you see it's just multiplied by the mass, the direction that delta momentum points is the same as the delta velocity points. So we can use delta v in this equation over here. So the y component, so it would be something like this, v y over vx and in this case vy is this value over here so minus 11.4 and vx is equal to 14.2 and this gives us let's see this gives us roughly minus 39 degrees which means it points something like this right so that's the change in its momentum. That's the direction, that's the answer of letter C.